Everyone on Saint Paulzine. Um, not Saint Mineral Swap because we're going to be jumping into the luxury eyeshadow collection. And I'm filming this directly after I did the outro to the other one. So let's just jump into it. And I think I'm going to avoid doing the outro in this style because I had to hold the camera. And I'm not used to that. And it is quite heavy. So let's just jump into the collection and just show you guys what I have. Not to be ready, not to be anything. Um, I just thought it'd be interesting, so let's jump into it. Here is the luxury in mid range, I should say, collection. You can see my tripod. It's actually broken. <laughs> um, you can't see it on this side. Uh, basically, one of these clasps cannot actually connect to my camera. So, that's over there. <laughs> I just took that off and it. Okay, um, where should we start? And I guess we'll start with this section right here. So this guy is one of the Basquiat palettes. Uh, this guy is, I think, Tenant. I don't know, because it doesn't honestly say on here what, what it is. Um, let's just open it up. So that is what it looks like. It's very pretty. I do like using this one for, like, everyday looks. Uh, next is the other Basquiat palette, which I think... Wish they had their names on it somewhere, but they don't. So it opens up this way. And that is this guy. Just very colorful. So, those little guys. Uh, next from Urban Decay, we have the Naked Heat palette, which I don't use a lot. But, just considering I just got it like not even a year or so ago. I don't want to get rid of it just yet. So I hold on to it just in case. I'm going to use it. Um, next we have the original Naked palette. Which my sister got for me when they announced that it was going R.I.P. And I've come to the conclusion I actually don't like it <laughs> anymore. But because it was the original, I'm just holding on to it. Because I might end up using it, but it's not my favorite. Um, last Urban Decay palette we have is the Born to Run, which is probably my favorite palette that I have from Urban Decay. And that's this guy, which I use a lot over the summer. Next we have the Dominique Cosmetics Latte palette, another favorite of mine. Oh, it looks like this. This one I use a lot. Very good quality. I kind of want the, the berries and cream one. Just because I love this palette so much. I also have the Lemonade palette. Which looks like this. Um, this is actually the first version that came out. She did re-release it. And then sent out everyone that had bought one. A new copy. I just kept the original because I honestly didn't notice a difference. And gave the new one to my sister. Um, last one in that row is Lunar Bay Lysa Drag. Which I also use quite a bit over the summer. And I do think it's a really good palette. The one weird shade is this one. I just don't use it on my channel anymore. Just because of Manny Amy Way. Kind of has been cancelled by everyone in the beauty community. For more or less good reasons. So, Good palette. I'll keep using it till it's gone. But it just won't be on my channel. Really. Um, let me go through the rest of these. But I need to quickly charge a battery. So I'll be back for the rest of this. Alright, next we have Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, the Norvina palette. Pretty. The Sultry palette. The Prism palette. The Subculture, which I actually really like. I think I'm going to wear this tomorrow. Uh, soft Glam. And Modern Renaissance. Now, going off from Modern Renaissance, we have my Tarte palettes. So we have the Pearl palette, which looks like this. Uh, we have... Rainforest After Dark. We have 
the Make Believe in Yourself palette, which looks like that. And then we have Tartlet in Bloom, my favorite palette. One of my favorite palettes, I should say. It's not me favorite, but I have definitely dug into this one a lot. And then we have the Toasted palette, which looks like that. I don't have the original anymore. I used to. I got rid of it. That was actually the very first plug tree palette I ever bought. So that's why these guys kind of stick around. I don't have the original one anymore because I just never used it anymore and, and it was in bloom. So, so I kept because I could re replace out that one with that guy. So yeah. Next, we'll go into this back area. So first off, on the side here, we have the Vault Collection. So we have Ring the Alarm. Uh, Bling Boss. Dark Magic. And Armed and Gorgeous. And this was actually the quote unquote second run of the palette. So, I'll see, we'll speculate that it's actually the first run and they just re released it. So, I don't know. I like them, so they're on the side here in my luxury collection. Uh, going to this section, uh, let's first pull out this guy. This is the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette, which this is not my favorite row. I am just gouging palettes all over the place. It's very glittery and not my favorite, but I like the other two palette rows. These are fine. These just aren't my favorite formulation. Um, next uh, is the Blood Sugar Palette, also from Jeffree Star. These are the only two Jeffree Star ones that I have in my collection. That's this guy. Although I've heard he is coming out with a second version of this palette. I'm kind of curious what that's going to be. I may or may not get it. I don't know. It's very bulky. Um, then we have the Laroc La Beauty and the Beast Palette. Tale as old as time, which looks like this. I may or may not declutter this. I do like it. It's just there's so much wasted space in here. It's pretty, it's cool. The brush has gone to the other side of the palette. I do like it. I just I don't know. I feel like the shot should be bigger. I might just depot these and then get rid of the palette packaging. I don't know really yet. I do like it. It's just very bulky. Um, next, we have the Cat on the Saint and Sinner palette. I actually really like this palette. It might be canceled, but I do like this palette. I just won't use it on my channel, but I use this quite a bit. So, that is still there. Um, next, this is the Pigment Palace Modern Royalty palette. It is very big pans. This is all shimmers, and then these are all mattes. I do like it. I just feel like, for me personally, I just need to dip into their palette to use this completely. But I do like this, so. Gorgeous. And I love, I think the brand is very good with engaging with its demographics and keeping a variety of people and diversity in mind. So, yeah, that is that palette. Um, next is the Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics. This one really should be in the drugstore section. And this guy, to be honest, that one's 25. Um, but I just was out of room in that bucket, so that's where this is. This is so gorgeous. I want to get the, the Zodiac in Love palette. It's so pretty. And I love the... Sh the these guys. These are so good. I wore this a lot last winter. Now I just have so many. I never end up wearing this palette for more than like a week at a time and then I switch it out. Um, next, I'm going to put these back and then I'm going to grab those guys. Alright, here is my very dirty Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe. This one is a staple and I do reach for it quite a bit. You can't really tell from the palette, but I have used this a lot. 
if you can't tell from all of my dirty fingerprints. Um, next up we have this guy, which is the 35M Boss Mood palette. And I like to keep that in there. I need, do need to write the name around the outside. Um, yeah, that is this palette. Gorgeous. Um, going to one of their older palettes. These are the 35 palettes as 35 S for the sh pure shimmer, and then this is the 35. Oh, I'm sorry, not M. That was 35 M. This is just all the mattes of the 35 O series, and that's the shimmer. You can tell it's the older packaging because I've had this for a long time. I really like using these two for everyday looks. Um, next, going into the big boys, we have the 39 A. Dare to Create palette, which was their, I believe, holiday collection for not 2008, but 2017. And it is Big Boy, which I really enjoy. I love this palette. I actually don't mind that it's so huge. I just store it upright like that. And then it's Twin, which is the James Charles palette. Or Jam James Senio. <laughs> I just found that funny. Um, this is his um, archery palette. As you can tell, I've written the names underneath the shades in really bad handwriting using a uh, silver shelby so I can tell what the names are. I did this after I did the review. So, yeah, that's the James Charles palette, and I really like this guy. I have gone into Hello a lot, Playground a lot, Brother a lot. The blues, I don't know why, I'm just in a blue mood. That is the last palette that I have in my collection. And that is all of them from the mid-range to luxury assortment. So, yeah, that's my collection. Hope you guys all enjoyed this. If you did, give us a big, big old thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the How Pack and let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. If you want to see any looks from any of these palettes, let me know either from this video or the previous one, which is my drugstore one. Um, I'll have that one linked up above here, so if you guys want to see it, it is there. Um, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!